Hi, I'm George and welcome to part 5 of the Horizon series. Uh, now because some of the components on the rocket and the launcher undergo some pretty high loads, this week we're going to have a look at a test stand that we built to test these components. Now the main reason is we want to test them uh, under those loads before we start using uh, high pressure air. Obviously we don't want loud explosions or pieces going everywhere. Um, so this allows us to safely test it indoors. Uh, and the actual test stand uh, applies about 10 kilonewtons or up to a ton of force onto the components. So let's have a look at it. The design is based around a steel frame with a lever at the top of it. There is a two-ton hydraulic jack that applies the force at one end of the lever. Now one end of the component being tested is suspended under a scale that then hangs from this lever and the other end of the component is attached to the frame space. This allows us to directly measure the force applied to the component. We are expecting to test the rocket hold down mechanism to around 7 kilonewtons or about 700 kilos. Okay so let's have a look at how the test stand was built and then we'll also run a test on it. The scale in this case is a one ton crane scale we bought on eBay for around $90. It's quite a nice unit and even comes with a remote control. It runs off four AA batteries. First we cut up some heavy steel angle sections that will form the base. These are about one meter long each. They are 50 by 50 millimeters and about a 5 millimeter wall thickness. We then drill a bunch of holes in it for mounting other frame components. The bolts that we use range from M8 to M12 for assembling the frame as it will need to withstand the forces itself. Now we drill some mounting holes for the supports as well as the hole for the anchor bolt that will hold the bottom end of the component under test. Next we cut a couple of lengths for the vertical supports that will attach to the base at one end and support the lever at the other end. The supports are made from 25 by 50 steel RHS. We have to grind away one edge to make it fit into the angle bracket. We also make the lever from the same material. We didn't need the hook that came with the scale and so we just replaced it with a smaller shackle. We've added additional shackles and links to it so that we can suspend it under the lever. In order to connect the nozzle up to the test stand we have to modify it slightly. First we drill a hole in the top of it. Then we cut a thread in it. We then screw this welded steel eye bolt into the top of it. Next we mark out the position where the lever needs to be fitted and drill the necessary holes. Here we're cutting up a pair of wooden legs that will be mounted to the base to keep the whole thing from tipping over. These then just get attached with wood screws. Yeah. 
we can then assemble the vertical supports. The lever gets attached to the supports with an M12 bolt. And we add a small bracket at the top to keep the supports together. We've inserted wooden blocks inside the RHS so that the bolts don't crush it when we tighten them. Now we can suspend the scale with the stager. Here we're just doing a quick test to see how well the setup is working. Of course we don't want to be lifting this thing by hand and so we next mount the jack on the other side of the base. We machined this adapter so it sits on top of the jack. On top of the adapter is a piece of steel pipe. And on top of that is another adapter that fits into the hole in the lever. Okay, time to do the very first test. Here we're just testing the staging mechanism script if it will hold against the nozzle. This will be subjected to around 120 kilos under pressure. Here we're watching for any deformation at this point. When you're done applying the load, you can just release the pressure on the jack. And the last little bit you can just push back down. Now we set up for our second test with the full stager. Here we're testing the load that it would experience at around 500 psi to see if it will release cleanly. It's good to be able to do these tests repeatedly while watching closely what's happening. Something we can't do when it's under pressure. Three, two, one. Perfect. Here we're setting up for the next test. The third test subjected the staging mechanism to the full expected load. The tests shown here were actually done before our high pressure tests shown in the previous video. This gave us confidence that the nozzle retention mechanism wouldn't let go when subjected to full pressure. Here we go, three, two, one. Again, this was a successful test, so we were pretty happy with that. Well, that's it for this week. We'll be using the test stand in upcoming videos as we test the launcher and the staging mechanism. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.